Welcome back, gamers, to another episode of Seven Days to Die Alpha 17 Experimental. It is Horde Day today, so we gotta prep for it. I was thinking we were gonna do the Horde Night out on the road. I have, um, oh, they're not here. They're actually down inside my base. Uh, but I have a whole bunch of barbed wire to put out, and I was just gonna kind of try to take it out on the road. But. I think we're just going to take it on at our horde base and see what happens, see how well this base can take a hitting. Uh, because I've died a couple of times now. If we take a look at my uh, shameful character statistics here, we'll go to players instead of all the other windows. Uh, I'm level 8, game stage 13. Uh, 78 kills, wah wah, 3 deaths. You know what, that's okay though. The games really challenge me in different ways. I have to pay attention in different ways. Those, uh, those, <laughs> those wolf hordes are deadly. That's what got me twice. Uh, but I think we're going to take it on here, so what i got to do is uh, place all of this actually just outside. We only have 38 of them. We have one side where I've actually built a little bit of a ditch. It should be right over here. There it is. We built a little bit of a ditch on this side, so maybe I'll put some barbed wire out here. Uh, so i got to go out, chop myself a shitload of wood here for the day, make sure I have food and water, we're good. Chop myself up a shitload of wood make some more spikes and stuff for outside of the base and then I'm actually going to expand this deck here two blocks out with just these frames that way we can run around and kind of shoot the zombies with our arrows as we go so I'll probably be probably be concentrating on making some arrows today too so let's get to work Shit! And we are slowly closing in on Horde Night here. I hope I have enough supplies and enough to go all the way around here. If I don't, I guess I can stand on the edge. It doesn't matter too much. Uh, but these stupid lights, I gotta watch out for those things because if I walk on top of them, I'm actually gonna end up going through the light. You don't stand on top of it. So I'm gonna have to cover those up. I have one on the other side I need to cover up too. But it is 1900 and I am in full out. Holy shit mode! Holy shit mode! No fucking way! Look at that wandering horde over there! Look at that! D d holy! What? Okay, is it gonna... Is it gonna... Is it gonna wander off? No way it's coming over here! Fuck that! Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna try getting these guys away. Holy shit, look at this shit! Come here! Let's go, guys! Holy crap! Wow, that's insane. Look at them all. Right before Horde Knight 2. Come over this way, you fuckers. I don't want to deal with you and Horde Knight at the same time. I still have work to do. Full-on panic mode. 
Okay, I think I might have lost them. Yeah, for the most part, I actually have lost them. They're all out over there wandering. So if I don't go out too far that way, I should actually be okay-ish. I might have a few wander over here, but that I can deal with. Holy shit. That was a lot of zombies too right before Horde Night. Good thing I was paying attention. That would have really sucked. All right, I got to fix up this side here. I don't know how much of this I'm going to be able to get done. Shit, it seems they're wandering over here still. Are they coded to even if they get kited to still wander over to the spot? This is not good news. Right at the beginning of Horde Night. The fun pimps? Jesus Christ. Alright, it's 2100 and it sounds like we've already actually had one wander over here. Yeah, look at her. Oh, they do walk through the spikes if you put them like that. Awesome! Okay, well I'm glad to see that in action, but we are very close to Horde Night, and we have these assholes beside us. Um, I'm not even going to risk jumping down. I was actually going to place a bunch of torches, but I really don't want to get their attention right before Horde Night. I have a feeling they're going to end up joining us anyways, but I'd rather not be stuck out there fighting them and up here alone and safe in my bubble. Anyways, these torches I'll take down after Horde Night. I don't want a screamer either. Here we are! And coming! Do them some damages! Come on, Sagas! See if I can't kite you around a little bit here. Holy crap, we're looking safe so far. I don't think they've broken in. Except for this big mama. She's mad! Spikes seem to be taking pretty good care of them so far. All right, we're looking pretty good. All the spikes on this side are almost out, though. But I don't... Oh, shit. There's even more coming. Look at these guys over here. Okay, come over this way, guys. There's some spikes still left on this side. Ah, oh, sweet. So it does seem I can still kite them at least, at least a little bit usefully. This is sick. Okay. Oh, shit. Are they making their way up to me? Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, look at that. Okay, so they're trying to climb the frames I had there. Oh, wow. That could actually come in useful in the build, maybe, seeing that type of behavior. Now, this is my first solo Horde Knight. Um, I had a Horde Knight on multiplayer, which was quite uh, not the challenge. <laughs> and we're only, like, game stage 13, so this Horde Knight is actually turning pretty out pretty good for one player. Yeah, like, look at that. We're getting decent waves of four or five or six, which is quite manageable for one player. Not over or underwhelming, but still enough. Holy shit, we're only at 22.49. Uh-oh. I hope we have enough spikes for the night. I think my main concern are going to be taking out the bigger dudes and stuff. Um, the ones with more hit points, because they can take out more spikes, I believe, because, well... They take more damage, right? So the small guys can get taken out by the spikes. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. I still hear, I still hear some banging. Oh? Are we quiet? Oh, there's one right here. He's going to get taken out pretty quickly, though. Yeah, look at that. Dead. Beautiful. Now, I am losing a lot of my... Oh, shit. He's not dead. <laughs> my bad. Now he's dead. Whew. Sick. Look at this. Is it trickle time already? This is insane. Well, we survived the onslaught at the beginning of Horde Night. Just simply with a few spikes around my base. That is a very good sign. Oh, shit. Oh, you must repair it. Look, they fixed that. You can't pick up damage wooden frames anymore. Nice. Good touch, fun pimps. I like that. That's You can do that before. Whew. Okay, I'm going to take a, catch, a second to catch my breath here. So we're at game stage 16. Sorry, God. We're at game stage 16 now. Holy crap. That's actually really low. So we didn't get that many zombies. Um, I think we're officially in trickle time now. Uh-oh. Well, that makes for an easy night. That was a lot easier of a horde than I thought. Doing that on the roadway actually might have been very much doable. We still got a ton of spikes left. I don't really see too many other zombies. Oh, there's one right there that's running at us. That's definitely a Horde Knight zombie right there. Let's give her a couple shots. And there you go, right in the hip. Sorry, lady. Or is that the dude zombie? Nah, it's a lady. And the lady. Oh, no, she's not dead. 
<laughs> that stun animation when they get stunned by the spikes trips me out. I love it. Is that a dog over there? No. Okay, so we're in trickle time. It is 23.44. This is what we got. That was easy as fuck. I was all worried about Horde Knight. I'm going to be like, oh no, I'm dead. Super prepared. Our base is way too OP for our game stage. Now I'm kind of regretting not taking on Horde Knight outside. Oh well, I'm going to pick off these few then. Oh, and look, a natural spawn. <laughs> that one actually spawned right in. That's funny. These guys over here are the last few left of that uh, Wandering Horde we got before Horde Knight. That Wandering Horde almost seemed a little tougher than Horde Knight was. Yeah, hello, Geico? How are you? Yeah, I'd like to know how much I can save on car insurance. Well, that was that. Kind of disappointing, but uh, we survived hard night. Maybe I should have taken that out on the road. Dang. Well, lesson learned. Uh, it's not as intense, really, as I thought it would be. Especially at the base with this many spikes. But it does sound like they took a good amount of spikes out. Especially where I had that little bit of a spike pit. Now, I'm taking these torches out because I don't want my heat map uh, going up and spiking. So let's jump down here and kind of check this out and see what they've done. A lot of spikes have gone missing, but generally, oh wow, look at all these arrows still kind of chilling around. That's kind of cool, actually. I didn't know the arrows stay that long. I thought they stayed as long as the bags did. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, uh, but to the building itself, there is like very little damage. Uh, they even, oh, here we go. Okay, well, they hit a little bit here. I wonder if they're getting through in some spots. Let's take a quick look here. Oh, yeah, they almost made it through here. Look at that. Four of 500. Okay, so they almost got in at one spot. It's uh, We initially took the biggest part of the horde right here. So this seems to be just enough defense to take on that first part of the horde and wipe them out. And then kind of spreading them out along the sides seemed to get rid of the rest. And then literally we had nothing all night. So yeah, I haven't even upgraded these or anything. But anyways, that's it. That's it. That was Horde Night. We're all done. Now we don't have to worry about repairing, rebuilding. I should probably put some more spikes around where the empty spots are. But we shouldn't need as many spikes. Oh, shut up. It's done and it's over with. Uh, oh, that's actually, look, that looks really nice. I like how that looks, uh, but there's really nothing we need to do right off the bat, except get myself out of my own trap. There we go. Those things barely do any damage. Love it. But yeah, look at that. She's all together. She's OP as fuck, but uh, she did the job. So instead of leveling the first week, what we've done is we've built a base. I have everything I needed to build my base in one week, and it was more than OP enough to survive the first Horde Knight. It probably might have been a little bit of a better story if I hadn't died twice on day six due to the wolves, but overall, I'm pretty happy with how it went, but there is literally like no trickle. I got like maybe one or two other zombies after that, and that was it. Oh crap. What the hell? I come inside, and there's a fucking zombie in here. How the fuck did you get in here? I have a land claim down, guys. Where the fuck did you come from? What the hell was that about? Well, that's not cool. Okay, let's go down here. Land claims right here. Inactive? Why is it inactive? I haven't placed down any other land claims. Well, that's pretty lame. Okay, I'm going to make a new land claim block. Is that a glitch? Is that what's happening with land claims? Because I know on multiplayer, stuff like that has been happening. 
but I didn't think that was a problem in single player. Huh. Well, that kind of sucks. I'm going to have to put down another one. They're pretty tough. 7,000 health and active. Alright, there we go. Active land claim block on top of my inactive one. <laughs> that kind of sucks. So, let's go above here. My first objective, we only have two bottles of water now. I'm almost out of water. We have to run, run over to the water tower, fill up my bucket, fill up the glass jars I have, and then fix this. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. I needed a 2x2 um, two two space in here. You, you dump it, you fill it up, and then you refill it with the bucket. I don't know why I thought of doing it this way. I think it was like from the Minecraft days. But yes, it is 4x4, four four, so I'm going to have to fix this up too. So what we'll do is we'll fill up the, the water and just kind of bring another bucket over and then fill in this space. And then we should be able to have an infinite water source. That is my very much stupid. Huh. Well, would you look at that? I have one corner filled in. I destroyed three blocks. Now, sucker's full. I haven't used the other bucket because the other bucket's up here. Ooh, is that it's got damage? Okay, I thought it had damage to it. Uh, no, the other bucket's up here, water, because I wasn't going to put it in yet until nighttime when I was digging around. But look at that. Oh, cool. Okay, we're good to go. Uh, there's still some more water going on in here. I'm going to leave that. Our main concentration this week is if we look at our character. We got to get our level up. We're only level 10. We need to get to level 20 at least to get our iron and our iron tools because it's unacceptable how slow this is going at this point in time. Now, in order to do that, I have to go and do a lot of looting and killing a lot of zombies. So that's what we're going to do here for the next hour-ish. Well, hour of game time for the whole day, pretty much, until the night cycle. So let's go out. If we look at their map here, I kind of checked out this city. It was all right. But it looks like, oh, I don't know if there's anything down in the desert. And the temperature is probably too high. So let's head back up towards the city here. I'm going to put a quick waypoint up towards this road. And we're going to take a look up that way. This area here is where we ended up last time. There wasn't too much I could search. There's a passing gas. Is that a tool? No, that's a passing gas. Uh, I want to go check the back of this Eldo's cabinet place. I do believe we looked at the paper factory. Uh, the laundromat, I'm going to say, actually, I do need some better clothes. Maybe we should hit up the laundromat and maybe get some uh, better clothing so that I don't have to deal with the weather as much. Because when you got weather going on, I do believe that affects your skills. Because every time I've looked at my skills during bad weather, they've gone down a little bit. So... Or your perks, I mean. Not your skills, your perks. Let's break into this place and uh, see what's going on. we got to clear this bad boy out. What's up, homies? Oops, I didn't even mean to put that down. Now I'm going to have to use it. Holy crap. I think I cleared the place out. It's kind of cool looking, though. I went from front to back. I, I don't know about you guys, but every time I go into POI, the frame rates seem to drop. So we went through the front of the store, a bunch of cabinets, to this little office back here. Oh, look, a chest. Cool. Ooh, some bolts. Nice. I don't need any more glass, that is for sure. Uh, but I came back through here, cleared out the zombies, came back through here. And there is two table saws up in here that you can make a whole bunch of crap up in. Look at that, pretty special shit. And does this sucker work over here? Oh, we have a working workbench. Nice. Sick. Okay, so there's a workbench here. I'm going to actually mark this place on the map. Here we are. We're going to save this waypoint. And uh, I think tents are useful things. So we're going to mark this workbench. There. Workbench. Okay, it is now known as workbench. Suck it, spellers. Cool. So, I wonder what else this place has to offer. Oh, these wood beams are neat. Oh, no, these aren't. This isn't a wood beam. This is a slab that's painted like plywood. <laughs> that's actually good. That's a neat little trick. I'm looking at all this new stuff, and I'm getting inspired because I want to bring Settler's Mod back. Horde Knights need to be improved. Um, the AI is perfect for what I want. 
Um, Horde Knights, in my opinion, need to be improved. Uh, and you need to be able to build all this stuff. 100%. Anyways, I'm going to take a quick loot of this place. It's all cabinets and shit, so it should be pretty boring. Uh, there's an upstairs. We'll go check that last. By the way, you get electrical parts? And plastic and mechanical parts? From destroying these boxes? What? Shamway appliances? That is so sick. I legit didn't know that. Oh, that is so cool. I destroyed one. And I'm like, did I just pick up electronic part? Sorry to just start to chop them more down. Damn, I gotta chop these suckers up every time I see them now. Holy crap! <laughs> I just grabbed a leather, leather uh, poncho out of that thing down there. Over there. And then this fire zombie came at me. These guys are coming from outside, walking into the building, and passing their way to me. That is actually pretty damn cool. I love that. Wow, look at that. Two hits and dead. Pretty soon, I'm going to be able to do one hit to the head and dead. It'll be a lot easier. Holy crap, look at all the zombies up in here. Let's, let's clear this place out. Oh, look at that. I'm level 11 and I have two skill points to spend. I've been leveling up so fast just killing these zombies and looting. Uh, can I wear this on top of... Oh, nice. Now I have the, the poncho to protect me. This last little bastard here, though, he gave me something. What did he give me? An illness. Ooh, I hope that illness passes. So it's finally time to invest in some pack mule here. Especially since we are out looting. Now, that was only two points. And we got a whole nother row without becoming encumbered. That wasn't that expensive at all. We are working on my way to totally shit. Look at this madness. Oh, fuck it. That's an XP pile right there. Oh, is that a... Oh, you don't sneak up on me. I sneak up on you. Look at you sleeping. Pack. <laughs> Sweet. That's actually a really good way to kill them before they kill you. Look at them all. What are they doing over there? Just kind of chilling out at the building. Do they see me yet? No, they don't see... Oh, oh, I got a fuse attention. Oh, I guess it's time for XP. That was a lot easier than it used to be when I first started. <laughs> Holy crap. Look at that. We almost gained a whole level just from that wandering horde. That is a lot of zombie XP. So what are we going to loot next? Uh, now that we know there's a workbench up in here, that's pretty sick. Uh, let's go take a look at the laundromat. Go get ourselves some good clothing. I do have a poncho on, but I could probably use some other clothes too. I'm still wearing plant fiber crap that's broken even. Doesn't even, doesn't even do anything. Hello? You here to do laundry? Holy fuck, a lot of people were doing laundry before they died. Just an observation. This entire place is all washing machines. Oh, and look, I missed an entire row right here too, damn it. But this entire place is washing machines. Apparently, there is no drying here. Maybe that, that's what that back room is for with all the cloth hanging from it. But, like, look at the amount of stuff I got. Like, I can definitely, um... Can I wear one of these shades without replacing anything? Nice. These lucky goggles can go fuck themselves. Uh, intellect minus two. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. XP gain, 10%. Minus 10%? Nerdy glasses. What? The glasses have spec. Wow, the glasses have specs. Get it? Uh, perception, two. Whoa. Holy crap, I didn't know glasses do different things now.
XP gain, 10%, intellect my... I don't get this, so. Perception 2. So if we go look at perception... Go look at perception here. Uh, does it move it up to 15%? See, that doesn't even help me at all. I wonder I wonder why it says negative. I'm going to wear these nerdy glasses, though. I want that XP gain 100%. There we go. Oh, minus 2. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what the heck that means. I don't think that's working right. But look at that. We got ourselves some intellect and XP gain, which is pretty uh, pretty slick. Let's take a look at intellect here. Sick. Oh, wait. Is it not working correctly? I don't understand how that works, guys. Please help me out. All right, so I got everything organized. I got all my duplicates gone. Now, I should not have a need for clothes for a very long time. I pretty much got everything I need here. Even pants, if I ever want to put any on. I don't think I have any boots on. Oh, yeah, that's way better than those pieces of crap. What do I have on for pants? Let's wear these suckers. Yeah, screw it. I'm going to wear pants. I'm going to wear a sweatshirt. Oh, switched it out for the poncho. I'll keep the poncho there. Anyways, these glasses and stuff are just friggin' amazing. I love it. Anywho, look at my character. Aren't I fantastic looking? I look like I just went shopping at Valley Village and bought whatever was on sale. I just found another mining helmet, and it's a, a level 2. I wonder if level 2 is brighter than level 1. I kind of actually highly doubt that. It's probably the rest of the stats here. Anyways, uh, that was that was pretty damn cool. Nice. Some second mining helmet. I've had playthroughs where I just absolutely could not find a single mining helmet. And that's one of the most frustrating things in the world. Sick. There we go. We're all really done up now. Look at me. I'm sexy. Sexy as hell. That's freaking awesome. Anyways, guys, I'm going to head home, get this all stashed. I think that's all the, have, uh, all the time I have for today's episode. And I'll see you in the next episode. As usual, stay classy. Always back up them game saves, and I uh, will see you next time. Uh, join Discord, guys, if you haven't done it yet. We're a pretty cool community over there. We don't just discuss games. We discuss whatever the hell else we want. Kind of hang out there. Anyways, peace out. Stay classy. Back up them game saves. Have a good one.